Taking care of the environment is an important aspect of the Washington State Department of Transportation's work, and we carry that work ethic into all our programs. One of our many programs is correcting fish barriers on state highways to help salmon recovery. The process for making these corrections is unique to each site, with some requiring newly designed culverts, bridges, or walls to be built. In all cases, WashDOT takes great care to protect the environment during these projects. An example of a construction technique that is used on fish passage correction projects that is effective in protecting the surrounding environment is called drilled shaft construction. Let's take a quick tour of this process and see how it is accomplished. Drilled shaft construction is a method of building concrete columns underground that will be used to support various structures such as bridge abutments, signal poles, or walls. When working by streams, to protect developing salmon eggs and juvenile fish from vibration, the forms are pushed into the ground with a combination of downward hydraulic pressure and rotation. To further protect the fish, erosion countermeasures are put in place to help prevent construction runoff from leaving the site. After the material inside the forms has been excavated, the rebar cages are put in place inside the forms and the concrete can be poured. By using hydraulic presses and building erosion countermeasures to contain runoff, the fish and surrounding environment on the project site are protected to the greatest extent we are able. This is just one example of how WashDOT consistently works to protect our Washington State environment while working hard to make corrections to fish passages in our waterways. For more information on WashDOT's Fish Passage program, use your smartphone to follow this QR code to the WashDOT Fish Passage website or follow the link in the description. Thanks for watching.